What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails into Reverie. Last time we did our first daydream, which had to deal with Nadia, Swin, and Risha in a misunderstanding. Uh, Nadia wanted to see Arkansas's uh, rehearsal, so they had to sneak in, but Risha saw it as them being assassins coming to kill Yin, so they ended up fighting and then realizing in a silly way that. Uh, they were not actually after each other, so they were able to relate a little bit, and they were able actually to give Risha some advice, which uh, was pretty nice to see. Um, but now we're going to get on the to the other daydream we have currently, which is a day in the lives of the SSS. So let's go ahead and do this one, and if this one's short enough, then we'll do the mini game daydream that we have as well in this video. If not, we'll save it for next time. So uh, let's get started. These daydreams will be fun because it'll be about, like, kind of trying to figure out when they take place. Oh, well, this gives it away. February 20th, 1207 of the Septine calendar, a date that marks six days since Crossbell had finally been liberated through the SSS. So, yeah, six days after. Got it. They were now tasked with navigating a wealth of responsibilities in preparation for the signing ceremony set for the following month. The initial team of four, Kia and Chief Sergey, were up to the task especially how they were able to resume their post from their beloved base. So this daydream is literally just going to be like, okay, how did things kind of get back together once we finish the operation? Obviously, none of them knowing that a month from now they won't be here. Aww. Yesterday's cleanup efforts were pretty tiring. Still, looks like we managed to get a good night's sleep. I'll say, I slept like a baby. Good to have my old bed back. Can't remember the last time we had breakfast together like this. It's an excellent point. It's been over two years. Feels like it's been even longer. That's because a whole lot's happened. Try not to get too comfortable yet, all right? The ceremony's still a ways away. Anyway, hurry up and eat before the food gets too cold. Yeah, the Chief's right. Ellie, Tio, and I poured our hearts into this. It's jam-packed with lots of love. My compliments to the chefs. Thanks, ladies. Don't mind if I do. Eat up. I hope you like it. I'm excited to see how it turned out as well. Looks like it was good. Phew, that hit the spot. I knew Ellie was practicing a lot, but you two have really upped your cooking games, too. Cooking isn't the only thing I've been getting better at. It comes with the territory. Don't forget there are two chefs at this breakfast table now. Oh, chiefs. All right, because she's Chief Tio. That's right, we're moving up in the world, like me joining the senior Sunday school class. You've both grown a lot the past few years. Oh my god, Randy. They're not the only pair that's been doing some growing, am I right, Lloyd? Well, I suppose. Ahem, what was that? Hey, Randy's the one who said it, not me. You took the bait, hook, line, and sinker. You two, I swear. Still, there's no denying the crossbill has drastically changed since the SSS officially went on hiatus two years ago. You'll be touching base with the CGF in Michelin today, right, Randy? That should prove helpful. It's more like I'm going down there to lend Muriel a hand. But I'll let you know if I hear anything interesting. Don't forget I'm leaving for Erebonia tomorrow to take care of some unfinished business at Thor's. Oh, right. You mentioned you already booked your train tickets and everything. But you'll still be staying here tonight, yeah? How about we throw you a little farewell party? It's not going to be gone for very long. It sounds like you're just looking for an excuse to drink, Chief. Though it would be nice for us to have a full table at dinner again. Nolan and Wazi have been preoccupied with work, and Risha has been rehearsing nonstop. That's okay. I'm sure we'll all find a way to get together soon. Anyway, good luck with work, guys. Let's all make it home early so we can have that party. Speaking of which, you and the Chief are going to the police department today, right? Yeah, the First Division requested our help. There's plenty of work to do before Crossbell can officially declare its independence. 
But Dudley's got another thing coming if he thinks he can pawn off the worst of it on me. I'll let him handle that. Well, we're not going to have much of a choice if more support requests come rolling in. How about you, Tio? Going to work at the Rhinefarm building like usual? Or wait, it's the IVC building now, huh? Yes, but I'll be dropping in on Yona first. The Robonet has been more active due to the news of Crossville becoming independent. The Rhineford company forfeiting ownership of the building and reducing their presence has also been a hot topic around the office. The Vernon company and ZCF plan on moving into the open floors, so there's a lot of work to be done. Shoot, it's really going to be an international office again, huh? I imagine it must be chaotic there, but the future is looking bright at the very least. It is. The other manufacturers moving in uh, creates the opportunity for top engineers to collaborate more often. So what about you, Ellie? Aren't you busier than any of us? For real, your granddad is the busiest dude in all of Crossbell right now, which makes you the busiest assistant. You're not wrong, but it just so happens that I have a little breathing room in my schedule today. Shouldn't have made trouble wrapping up everything I need to by tonight, so give me a call if you need a hand with SSS work. Will do, that's great to hear. Man, we were so wrapped up in talking about work that breakfast is already over. You're off to Sunday school, right, Kia? Yep. What do you say we leave together once everyone is ready? And so the SSS depart for their respective jobs, each looking forward to the dinner they promised to have later that evening. It's not the end, right? Oh no, that was the beginning, okay. A day in the lives of the SSS. That's all you have on your schedule for today. Incidentally, you are due to meet with a politician from the Republic's ruling party next month. I have taken the liberty of compiling information you may want to know in advance. Thank you, I really couldn't ask for a more dependable assistant. I learned so much of being by your side, this is the least I can do, Grandfather. Speaking of the Republic, I hear your father is planning to run for office in the next election. What? Yes, it sounds as, I mean, obviously we know he doesn't make it, I suppose. Well, actually, we don't know. We don't know who the, uh, like, we knew that, uh, Rocksmith was standing down, but we don't know who won the next election, if it's happened yet. Sounds as though learning of my decision to get involved in politics had an impact on him, too. As you know, his views are similar to those of the former president. Thus, he's going to be in direct conflict with the ruling party's candidate. The origins of a republic's current prosperity can be traced to the reparations paid by the Empire. But a significant factor is the new president and his party's willingness to throw capital all around with reckless abandon. Oh. Oh, so there is someone new. Oh, so her father's gonna run in the one after this. Okay, got it. He strikes me as a little too forceful in implementing many of his policies. Even so, his approval rating is very high. Trying to compete head-on isn't going to be an easy task. Still, I will be rooting for his success. As will I, you need a strong opposition in a healthy democracy. I hear he's been in touch with my mother and Milsante lately, too. Though I have no reason to believe they are planning to get back together or anything. That doesn't surprise me. They both have their own separate lives now. Even so, it's good to hear. I'm glad the two of them appear to be moving forward with their lives. It's all mine. <laughs> By the way, about that conference on my schedule for this afternoon. I actually received a call to cancel it this morning. Oh, really? Indeed, so why don't you take this opportunity to finish work early and for once and take it easy? I'm planning on using the free time that cancellation opened up to do some reading. Well, if you're sure, we're having a farewell party for Randy tonight, so it does come at a good time. But I still want to get as much work done as I can before I leave. Very well, thank you. So, 
whoever took over for Rocksmith is a much more forceful uh, president in terms of getting what he wants. All right, everyone. Today we're going to have a going to practice formal letter writing to a friend. So I guess this is what this daydream is about. We're just going to see what everyone does during the day and then probably the party. I don't think I ever watched this one because I don't remember any of this. Pick anyone you'd like. It could be someone you play with every day or you could pick someone who lives far away. Oh, hey, you and his siblings are in the front row there. And then that's Colin next to them, I guess. Oh, yeah, Ryu, Henri, and Momo. I don't know about the kids on the left, though. It's also up to you to decide what to write. All that matters is that you write from the heart. They might actually be the kids from Armorica. Also, I brought in a helper today. This is Kia, one of my older students, and she's going to lead the class with me. Don't be afraid to come to her with any questions you might have, okay? Don't be shy, I'm here to help, so ask me anything you want. I can give you pointers on good writing manners and help you think of what to write about. Yes, ma'am. So we gotta write to a friend, huh? I guess I could write a letter to Ryu and Henri. Oh, and she didn't say it had to be someone outside of class. I'll write one to you too, Colin. Oh, thanks, Ken. In that case, I'll write one to Nana. Maybe I should write one to Ren too, but I don't get to see her that much. But maybe she'd like it. I'm going to write you a letter too, Colin. And one's for Kia and Momo. You're so sweet, Nana. In that case, I'll write you one back once I get it. Sounds to me like you all have at least one person in mind, then. That wasn't too hard now, was it? Actually, all this talk is making me want to write Shizuku a letter, too. Ah, yes, Shizuku lives in Remifaria now, doesn't she? Well, obviously, we saw her back. I think that's a wonderful idea. I'm sure she'd be thrilled to hear from you. We have plenty of paper and envelopes to spare, so you're welcome to join them. All right, thanks, Sister Marble. But since I'm helping out, I'll wait till I get home to write it. So is that it for Kia at school? Yep. Thanks, I was just thinking I'm not getting enough leafy greens down here. Not. <laughs> so I was right. She did have to check on him because otherwise he'll just be eating pizza. Seriously going to kill you if you do this again, Tio. I just want my pizza and Bell Cola. Come on. Buy it yourself if you're just going to gripe about whatever I get you. So how goes the task I left you with? Oh, fine. I'd rather eat this grass than go out. So, the wireless router expansion test is going alright. I can handle easy stuff like this in my sleep. Usually. Is there a problem? Kinda, yeah. I keep running into these weird connection issues I haven't been able to figure out yet. It's normal for it to drop when there's too much traffic, but this feels more like someone's trying to leech off us. That's concerning. Don't stress it, though. If someone's out there trying to mess with us, I'll catch them at some point. They can't outsmart the smartest guy around. Probably should make that sooner than at some point. Let's make resolving this a priority instead. I can help. I'll also get in touch with the Chief and ask if it's okay to use the Foundation's network for this. Okay, if you're, own up, if you're up for owning some hackers, so am I. Think you can keep up with me, though? I'm more worried you won't be able to keep up with me. Cute. Oh, they're hanging out with Yuna's dad. Thanks for coming out here to talk about park security, Randy. My debt to you just keeps piling up. You already look after my daughter over at Thor's as it is. I mean, if you should be thanking anyone for that, it's Rain. He's her homeroom teacher, you know. I never thought Randy would be acquainted with the park's chief of planning of all people. It really is a small world, I guess. Anyway, let's get down to business, shall we? You want to put the CGF in charge of security at Michelin temporarily while the park works on turning over its main provider, correct? Correct. With the Empire pulling out its funding, we have to rework our security apparatus. On that note, here are the blueprints for the park. Say, man. Is it just me or is that Mecha Mishi over there different somehow? Leave it to you and your eagle eye to notice. Randy, I'd appreciate you not veering off topic. We're just getting started. It's fine. I was planning to fill you two in on our upcoming event one way or another anyway. 
Since Randy's already brought it up, I may as well go into it now. What you're looking at is indeed Mechamichi, or rather Mechamichi Mark II to be precise. As part of our upcoming event, he has a new metallic frame. That's probably why he looks different to you. Ah, that makes sense. Pretty snazzy fit he's got. I'm sure he'll be a hit with all the little tykes who visit the park. So we hope, between you and me, I'm pretty excited about it too. I fail to see the appeal of it myself, I'll take your word for it. That being said, doesn't the metal make the suit heavier? I can't imagine someone lugging that around for hours on a hot day. Funny you should mention that. As luck would have it, he's fully mechanical inside. No performer required. Believe it or not, he was generously sent to us by a fan of the park studying at the Rower Institute of Technology. Wait, is that safe? We've just started putting him to use around on a trial basis. He's quite the impressive piece of tech. His capabilities are limited, but he can be remote control, which is great. Whoever put this bad boy together must be quite the character. It's a whole lot of effort for a park mascot. Yeah, you're telling me. Could it have been George? Did he do it? I mean, George isn't a student, but... George also doesn't peg me as a uh, Mishy appreciator. I had a look through your proposed training regimen for new recruits bannings. It was a fine piece of work, mixing competence assessments with practical experience gained from helping to guard the ceremony. Well done. Thank you very much. I did have the chief look through it before submitting it to you, but hearing your, you praise my work so much does give me a lot more confidence in it. Glad to hear that. I'm not surprised. Dudley here is even pickier with this than I am with this stuff. So if he's so it's gotta feel good when he gives you a stamp of approval. Regardless, I have personally signed off on the plan. As long as the higher ups also approve it, I'll be contacting you to start putting it into action from tomorrow. Understood. Thank you, sir. Thinking about it, it's been three whole years since you first became a detective, huh? So much has happened in that time, it makes my head hurt thinking back on it. But you look like a real grown-up member of the force now. Couldn't agree more. The rest of the SSS have become significantly more dependable than when they started, too. I'm honored to have the two of you speak so highly of me, but I still don't feel like I deserve such praise. I'm still a long way from being able to compare to my brother, I think. Pardon the interruption, but it's alright if I take this, it looks like it's urgent. So glad you picked up, Lloyd. We've got an emergency on our hands. Can we meet up right away? Absolutely. I'll head out at once. You can brief me while I'm on the move. I'm really sorry about all this, Chief Detective. Don't worry about it. Sounds like whatever you're dealing with is a race against time. You can give us a report later. For now, just get going. We don't have any other urgent tasks to give you today regardless. So you needn't worry about us. I'll submit your proposal on your behalf. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. <sighs> as busy as ever, those kids. They sure are, though I wasn't counting on that right now. A sudden communications disruption, huh? But you know where the cause of the outage came from? Yes, the origin is a terminal in the Geofront's F sector, which someone or something has physical access to. The disruption isn't over either, it's still ongoing. I see, we'll need to be really careful then. Maybe we should let Kia and Ellie know, since they're both nearby. Sorry for the bother, you two, but could you give us a hand with something? You see. Understood, we'll head there right away. Fortunately, a cancellation just freed up my afternoon, so this won't be a bother at all. I just finished blue classes for the day. On my way. Thank you both for being so understanding. Now that our meeting is over, it's time we get down to our next order of business. Let's see, we should probably go around the park so we can get an idea of how we'll need to secure things. Works for me. Sounds like the perfect way for us to get some quality time in on the clock, too. Are you kidding me? Are you treating this like it's some kind of date? Easy, I just said it was a nice chance to have a little one-on-one. -on -one. 
All right, you know, I forgot to mention something to you. Great, what now? Truth be told, I'm heading back to Thor's tomorrow. I was hoping you could join me and the rest of the SSS for dinner tonight, if that works for you. What? We're really putting on the Ritz for it, you know? To send me off in style and all that. Night like tonight, the more company the merry. It'll be a hoot, you in? Muriel? Uh-oh. Huh? Whoa, slow down. I think we got a bit of a misunderstanding here. Mecha Mishi, what are you... What the hell, pal? This some kind of prank? Creek, creek. What's going on? Why is he... You humans are, and I so... Oh, is this going to be related to what Tio's talking about? I don't know what's gotten into him, but it looks like he's gone berserk. The idea of Mishi taking a swing at someone, Yuni just sat up somewhere in a cold sweat. Well, I'll put him in his place. Hey, you think you can run away? We can talk later, Muriel. Right now, we gotta get the cat back in the bag. Right, let's go. Got you now, you bucket of bolts. Brandy, look out. Leave it to Chrome Dome to be packed with all sorts of projectiles. I can handle this thing, Muriel. You get the civvies to safety. Roger that. I'll take care of them. Don't you dare do anything crazy. I'll call for backup, so just hold out. It's too dangerous to stay here, everyone. I need you to calmly follow my orders so you can all be evacuated. Understood? Looks like it's just you and me now, pal. You pack a punch, but I've seen worse. What? <laughs> You're but a mere human. Do you think you have what it takes to overcome my mechanical might? That's some serious firepower he's packing under the hood. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to come out of this one unscathed, even if I whip out Berserker. Oh, hey. あれ、あれ、ランディ。怪我の一つや二つが何だって未来から無茶するなって言われてたのにね。ロイドにお嬢を気をつけに希望まで。応援に来るにしても早すぎだろ。<笑> Oh. oh my god. He has a voice. Yes. I can't believe this is a real fight. Nice. 
He's not going to survive anyway. Sorry, Mecha Michi. Yeah, you don't get any Sepeth either, because obviously it's a story. Yeah, I'm glad that's finally behind us. Is everyone all right? Yep, no worse for wear. Man, am I glad you guys showed up when you did, or else I could have been in bad shape. Thanks. But am I imagining things, or did I hear a pretty familiar sounding howl somewhere back there? No, I definitely heard it too. I recall hearing at the start of the oh, at the start of the liberation last week too. He's likely been watching over us and decided to lend us a hand or a paw, as it were. Aw, uh, he could at least come down here so we can give him a great big thank you. Howl? Paw? Never mind that. Anyway, I'm glad you're alright, Randy. As am I, even if you had to take things a little too far, just like you always do. Is that a giant banana raft? Or canoe? My bad, my bad. Didn't mean to worry, everyone. Forgiven. Still, how did the rescue we managed to make it here so quickly? Coincidence. We've been tracing a virus that's been going around which led us here. Virus? What do you mean? The kind that makes the computer sick. There's been a really bad program floating around the Orville network. Yes, and it's been wreaking havoc across network traffic here in Crossbell. Yona and Tio were thankfully able to pinpoint the source of it earlier this morning. It was a terminal in the depths of the Geofront F sector, which we had already investigated earlier. Tio ran an analysis and began exterminating the virus. But then all the archisms loaded inside the Geofront began to go berserk. Exactly like what would happen with Mechamichi, as a matter of fact. Damn, you gotta be kidding me. Fortunately, the archisms settled down again after the virus was purged from the system. But it avoided deletion and managed to wireless wirelessly transmit somewhere else. We managed to trace it to Michelin Wonderland with Gia's help. Thank mine Lloyd using the old Detective Noodle and Ellie's analytics, and boom, we're here on the beach saving Randy. Well, that's a detailed recounting. Now it makes perfect sense. You guys have only officially been back for less than a week, but you're already humming along. I'll say. It's almost unbelievable. Not that I'm complaining, of course. The only problem is we'll have to figure out what to do with Mecha Mishi now. Does anyone have any ideas? His circuitry seems to have sorted it, shorted it out, but it would still be safer to put him somewhere secure before attempting any repairs. It's a good point. I'll contact his original engineer and let him know what happened. Ultimately, the virus's true origins and how it spread remain shrouded in mystery. It was clear that further investigation into the matter would be required at a later date. However, with the virus itself disposed of, the case could be considered solved for the time being. Later that night, the SSS, along with Yona and Muriel, held a lively farewell dinner for Randy.
Um, thanks for inviting me, everyone. I guess a change of pace isn't bad every now and then. We're happy to have you both make yourselves at home. Yeah, and there's plenty of grubs, so don't be shy about asking for seconds. This is supposed to be Randy's going away party, so we sort of went all out. That means booze for those of you above the drinking age, too. So, Sergey, Randy, Muriel, Lloyd, and... So pretty much everyone except for Kia, Tio, and uh, Yona. Every, everything in moderation, right? Hmm, this is targeted discrimination. Three years later and I'm still the only underage member of the SSS. Not that I even want to drink. What's wrong, Muriel? Waiting on me to pour you a drink? You jerk. Don't think you're off the hook just yet. Why didn't you tell me sooner you were going back to Erebonia? You were just going to walk out of my life for another year like it was nothing? Right. I guess we got sort of cut off back in Michelin before I could explain. Sorry about giving you the wrong idea. I'm leaving to do some work at the branch campus, but I'll be back for good in about a month or so. What? Basically, I'm just going to make sure the person taking my old job can hit the ground running. Uh, Mario? Why did you say that in the first place? That's my bad. I swear, why are you like this? You're supposed to be an adult. You have a career, not to mention one that hinges on communication, attention to detail, and... Listen to these normies go. Get a room already, will ya? A room? Haha, <laughs> you're bright red and you haven't even had a drop to drink. Randy and Muriel sitting in a tree. Come on, Tio Todd. It's not funny when I'm the butt of the joke. It's all your fault, Randy. You could ask, at least act like you're sorry. Lloyd? <sighs> <笑>すまない。その何とも想像し食卓だと思ってさ。そうそう。ええ。全くね。またこんな日常が送れるなんてずっと望んできたことではあったけど。なあ。なんというか夢みたいだよな。<笑> like a daydream, right? <laughs> hey, uh, since you're here and all, you up for a game of cards? Way to not so suddenly change the subject. But fine. Make you cry, Uncle, and then you'll have to do my bidding. Sounds to me like we need to come up with a special penalty for the loser. Ooh, sounds fun. I want in. I already know I'm gonna get dragged into a game, so just give me my hand. If we're bet, I'm in. If we're betting Mira, yeah. How about we stay away from gambling? Oh, Kia. Oh, yeah, writing her letter to Shizuku. Yay! All done. Now I just seal it in. Oh, I'm getting really sleepy. Today was so much fun. What? Imanoa. She had a vision of uh Lopis? Oh, because of casuality? So is is Lopis related to the casuality as well? おやすみなさい。というわけで静く、特務支援課は改めて活動を再開したよ。これからもいろんな事件が起きると思うけど、みんなと一緒ならどんなことだって乗り越えられると思うんだ。それじゃあ、クロスベルで待ってるからね。キ
I was I was gonna say pointless, but it's not like pointless. Obviously, it's more you know just seeing how the characters live in their day. But that did actually have some re like relation to what's happening in the main story now. So, Kia, for so whatever reason, was able to see the open chest of Lopis, even though it's like a month before. So, very interesting there. Alright, so that's our two current daydreams that we can do done. So, next time we're going to check out the minigame one, the, like, magical girl thing. And then, uh, then we're just going to head back to reality and, uh, see what happens continuing Reen's route. So, that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.